All right. Hello and welcome. We are going to be solving um, a numerical on a simply supported beam with um, that is carrying a concentrated load that is not at what it is not at the mid span. So from here you can see this beam of length eight meter. It has a concentrated load of two kilonewton, but it's not at the mid span. So we are going to be solving this problem. We are going to be looking. For, we are going to be drawing the shear force and what and the bending moment diagram. Now, in order to draw the shear force and bend the moment diagram, we are going to be doing some calculations first. So the first thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be what equating the sum of the forces or sum of the upper forces with the sum of the downward forces. Now, of course, we have a reaction here R B and a reaction here R E. So we are going to be taking sum of the upward forces R A plus R B to equals to the sum of the downward forces, which is just minus, which is just two kilonewton, which is just two kilonewton. So this will be two kilonewton. So this will be equation what? One. Let's call this equation one. So the next thing we are going to be doing is this. We are going to be taking moment from point A. We are going to be taking our moment from point A. So summation of moment at point A will be equal to what? Will be equal to zero. So if we take moment at point A, moment is equal to force times perpendicular distance. So we have a force here, which is Ra, multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 8 meter. So we are going to be having Rb multiplied by 8. This will be what? Minus what? Minus 2. This is the next force, minus 2, multiplied by 6. Of course, we are considering up, upward force as positive and what? And downward force as negative. So let's proceed. So this will be nothing but what? Rb multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 8, minus what? The downward force, which is 2, multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 6. So everything is equal to 0. So Rb times 8 is nothing but what? 8 Rb minus 2 times 6 is nothing but 12. So this is equal to what? This is equal to 0. What do we do next? We can take minus 12 to this to the other side of this equation. So we have 8 Rb to be equals to 12. If we divide both sides by 8, it implies that our Rb will be equal to 1.5 in what? In kilonewton. Now, from equation 1, we know that Ra plus Rb is equal to 2 kilonewton. So from 1, Ra plus Rb is equal to what? 2 kilo newton. So what do we do from here? We can substitute Rb. It implies that Ra plus, Ra will be plus 1.5. This will be equal to 2. If we take 1.5 to the other side, Ra will be equal to 2 minus 1.5. This is nothing but 0 0.5 kilo newton. So our value for Ra is what 0 0.5 kilonewton and Rb is 1.5. So let's write that here. So Rb is nothing but what 1.5. And um, Ra is nothing but 0 0.5. So this is what we have. So next, we are going to be looking for our shear force and bending moment. So our shear force calculation. So for our shear force calculation, we are first we are starting with what? Our shear force at B. Now the shear force at B is nothing but what? The reaction at B. Because we are having, the only force we are having at B is nothing but what? 1.5 kilonewton. So our shear force S dot F subscript B is nothing but what? 1.5 Kilo Newton. So that's our shear force at B. Coming down to C, our shear force at C will be nothing but what? We want about 1.5, which is our shear force at B, minus what? Minus the force at C. That also we are having 1.5 minus 2. So we are using minus here because this is a downward force. So we are considering uh, upward force to be positive and downward force to be negative. So we are taking Two to be minus because of what is going downward. So our shear force at what at C 
will be equal to what? 1.5 minus 2. So we have 1.5 minus 2. This is nothing but what? Minus 0 0.5. So our shear force at C is equal to what? Minus 0 0.5. This is kilo newton. Next, um, we are going to be considering our shear force at A. So our shear force at A will be nothing but what? 1.5 minus 2 plus what? 0 0.5. So our shear force at A will be equal to what? 1.5 minus 2 plus what? 0 0.5. So this will be equal to what? 0 0.5 plus 1.5 is nothing but what? Is nothing but 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So our shear force at A is nothing but what? 0 kilo newton. So that's that for our shear force calculation. So next we are going to be we are going to proceed to our bending moment calculation. We are going to proceed to our bending moment calculation. Now this is a simply supported beam, and for a simply supported beam, the bending moment at both supports is equal to zero. That is, the bending moment at B is equal to zero, and the bending moment at A is also equal to zero. So all we are going, just going to be doing is to find the bending moment at point C. So bending moment at A is equal to zero. Bending moment at B is equal to what? Bending moment at B is equal to zero. So all we have to do is to find our bending moment at C. Now to get our bending moment at C, we know that bending moment is nothing but what force times per times perpendicular distance. So if we take this as our reference point, the force here is nothing but what 1.5. The perpendicular distance is what is two meter. So the bending moment at point C will be 1.5 multiplied by two, which is what, which is 1.5 times two is nothing but what is nothing but three. So our bending moment at C is equal to what 1.5 times 2, which is equal to what, 3 kilo newton meter. This is our bending moment at C. Now, of course, we have our values, so we can go ahead and draw the bending moment and um, shear force diagram. So the first thing to do is to draw our dotted lines down at every point that we have a load or a force. So for here, we have a load, a, a reaction here, so we draw our our dotted line, we have a load here, so we draw our dotted line downwards, and then lastly, for E, we draw our dotted line downwards. So this is what we have. Now next, let's draw um, our reference, let's draw our reference line. Now, so, all right, so we are going to be drawing um, our reference line. So for shear force, this will be our reference line. So we have, this is what we have. So for our bending moment, this is what we have. So, of course, this is zero. This is also zero. So, let's proceed. So, um, we are going to be plotting our points. So, our shear force at B is nothing but what? 1.5 kilonewton. So, we are going to go upward. Let's take this point to be our 1.5 kilonewton. This is 1.5 kilonewton. This is what we have here. So next, our shear force at C is um, nothing but minus 0 0.5 kilonewton. So we are moving straight here because there's no load in between. And then we'll go downwards by minus 0 0.5 kilonewton. So let's go downwards. 
will take here to be minus 0 0.5 kilo newton so next we are going to be going um we are going to be drawing the constant line as we have no load in between c and a so let's draw our line so this is what we have so this is what we have and finally our shear force at a is nothing but what zero so we are going back to zero so this is what we have so this is our shear force diagram we are here is positive and here is what is negative so this is what we have so next is our bending moment diagram so for our bending moment diagram we know that the bending moment at b is zero the bending moment at a is zero so we have our bending moment at c to be what to be three kilo newton meter so we can take this point to be 0.3 kilo newton meter so we draw it downwards from zero to this point so we can call this point three kilo newton meter and then our bending moment at a is nothing but zero so we go back to zero So this is what we have. So this is zero. So that's that for our bending moment and shear force diagram. So stay tuned for the next case, which is what? A simply supported beam that um, is carrying a uniform distributed load over the whole span of the beam. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next case.